I love a cooth, I love a gweer. But the only there the towers are here. But the hip towers are gold as a deer. Pragaravi Kaisel Kunuek, um, a Warzo Bulls Kunuek. A Warzo Bulls Kunuek, care no is, um, me have in Kaisel Kunuek. Chonzo Ragan Yath, you, you per that in here, mes kins cavils and chonzo, in there than rag papini in kerno, as one and yath, ag um, via Martha's da, cavils moi cozorion in here. It won't be done by my generation, it will be done by younger generations, by inspired and inspiring teachers in the schools. We have a standard form, we have classes, we have resources to continue building up, we have online resources, we have the bricks there really to build further for the future. There's an opportunity to celebrate the language and feel better about being Cornish. I think what I really, really like about Cornish and its revival is this goes against the grain of cultural unification and uh, cultural loss and the linguistic loss which we experience all over the world now and which will uh, gather up pace over the next, uh, over the next century. I just inherently think that the more languages there are, the better the world is. Any time a language dies, it leaves a hole. You take the language away, you take away Cornishman's identity. This is not just another foreign language. This is my language, this is my, you could say, this is my native language, the language of the land I was born in. There are more people speaking Cornish now than there ever were. When I started learning Cornish 30 years ago, I knew everyone who spoke it. I don't know. Cornish is important to us, it's part of us, it's part of Cornwall, it's part of who we are. I just got a feeling of elation, where I think I can speak my language. This is the language I love, I just care for it. <laughs>